the JAMA Network. I'm Dr. John Owen Ebert, Professor of Medicine at the Mayo Clinic. Some smokers want to reduce the number of cigarettes that they smoke prior to quitting completely. Previous studies have looked at nicotine replacement therapy, and a small study looked at varenicline for helping patients reduce the number of cigarettes they smoke prior to quitting completely. In this study, we wanted to evaluate varenicline for helping smokers quit long-term by first reducing the number of cigarettes that they smoke, and we wanted to evaluate this using a longer duration of varenicline therapy. We enrolled smokers who had no intention of quitting within the next 30 days, but who would be willing to reduce the number of cigarettes that they smoked with the goal of making a quit attempt by three months. We randomized these patients to six months of varenicline or placebo. Both groups received behavioral interventions for reduction. We looked at long-term smoking abstinence at 6 and 12 months. Smokers receiving varenicline were over four times more likely to be smoking abstinent at 6 months and were more than two times more likely to be smoking abstinent at 12 months compared to smokers receiving placebo. There were also no significant differences between the two groups with respect to serious adverse events. We conclude that varenicline is a safe and effective therapy for smokers who want to reduce the number of cigarettes that they smoke prior to quitting completely. That varenicline increases smoking abstinence rates long term compared to placebo and that this treatment option opens the door to treatment of 14 million smokers who have no intention of quitting in the next 30 days. These smokers may be open to the idea of reducing the number of cigarettes they smoke prior to quitting completely. The next steps are to determine how we can best disseminate and implement this treatment strategy into clinical practice. Clinicians can use the behavioral reduction strategies that we provided in this study report, but future investigations can look at possible ways to improve smoking cessation through smoking reduction.